Yo, what's up? This is the Mini Electric or the Mini Cooper SE. And in this video, I'm going to range test this. Yes, this is the most popular video uh, among this series of tests. So big kudos to Bilia Drummond who lent me this car. Yes, thumbs up to them. Awesome. So um, anyway, uh, we are charging now 200%. This is the this is the i3 battery, the, the 33 kilowatt hour, the 94 amp hour. But what, can you see anything there? Yeah, there, and 98%. So uh, you guys have seen the trunk space. I don't have to show you that. Uh, maybe I can show you the interior for a little bit. Voila, yeah. It actually has fairly uh, sporty seats. You see, what, can you see it, can you see it? Maybe it's easier to see that one. There, there you go. Fairly sporty seat. Interesting uh, interior. Yeah, so um, according to VLTP or well, WLTP, it's supposed to have 234 kilometers range. Gom says that I've been driving a little bit hard, <laughs> but I suspect that we can go 200 today. It's a nice, lovely day today. We have live stream with us, and uh, yes, as soon as it's finished charging, we will reset the trip meters. And oh, oh, by the way. Yeah, I should also use some eco mode. We'll figure out that one, yes. Okay, 100%. Uh, sport. E uh. Okay, not sport. Uh, mid. Green. Okay, green. All right. Reset. 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 Okay, go. Finally, we are on the move now. I have to cruise at 93 kilometers per hour. We're already down to 94%. So, uh, yeah. But the first stop now is already at uh, this me measuring uh, place. Okay, front axle. Oh, oh. Whoa, 860. All right, all right. The whole car. One four eighty. Wow. I think it's heavier than the the i three, which has carbon fiber. Oh yeah, look here. This car is equipped with a head-up display, and it's actually dark. <laughs> And there's this dial here. It will, I will configure it so it will show state of charge. Whoa, but it doesn't have auto steer. No auto steer, no adaptive cruise control. Uh-uh. Let me check Mjösen today. How is, oh yeah, look at that. Mjösen is so calm today. Oh yeah, Mjösen, Mjösen. My favorite place, Mjösen. Oh. We are now in the 110 zone here, getting close to Hamar. And, okay, so you see, it's showing you here, it's 19 degrees Celsius outside. We have driven 56 kilometers. Look at that consumption, guys. 130 watt hour per kilometer. Wow, wow, <laughs> 130. Huh? You know, I had a hint that this car was efficient because I've been driving this car uh, yesterday and I noticed that even when I hammer it on the motorway doing 120 plus kilometers per hour the consumption stayed low it stayed below 200 you know so this is funny because you know okay so mini um, it's basically just an i3 with a mini shell but it's funny because BMW they've been struggling hard try hard for the longest time they made this lightweight uh, carbon fiber chassis oh they put narrow tires on the on the i3 to make it as efficient as possible and then they put the drivetrain in a mini and the mini becomes more efficient than the i3 <laughs> and this the mini is even heavier than the i3 
it has wider tires. <laughs> it has steel and aluminium, I guess. <laughs> and it's still more efficient than the i3. <laughs> Sorry, I can't stop laughing. <laughs> oh, shit. We just turn around at the Mios Tornat, whatever it's called again, over here. Brumendal, yes. Brumendal. And uh, now the trip, I also checked the trip, it was spot on, 84 kilometers when we turn around. So it means that the trip here is 100% correct. And look at that consumption, man. 127. Yes. BMW, watch and learn from Mini. <laughs> Wow, well, this road is so nice. I like the new road, man. Oh. So uh, now we go back and then we see what we'll do. We are getting close to the end of this range test. So um, we're down to 22%. You can see it there. But also you see this arc here. Uh, once the battery goes down, then you uh, get less of these arcs there. But look here. So now this big arc also shows you that you have less battery available <laughs> is it is it cool yeah it's kind of cool is it pointless yes it's pointless because you already have it there <laughs> yeah so it's same but different yes yes so we're getting close to the end now i have to calculate a little bit and um, coordinate so that i get back to ionity dar with about five percent or whatever we are back at Ionity Dahl, juicing up. So, when I look at the trip meter, um, we drove 227 kilometers. And the trip distance was actually 100% correct this time, yeah. And that means, and then and consumption was 128 watt hour kilometer. Damn, this thing is efficient, man. It's in the same league as Ionic and Kona. Well, okay, actually Ionic is better, but in the same league. You know, very efficient car um, and now okay it means that um, we have 30.3 kilowatt hour available energy and you can drive 236 kilometers so that's spot on VLTP was 234 kilometers <laughs> okay 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 very good now we're gonna juice up I'm not sure 200% uh, maybe not 100% 90% and then we do the high-speed test Wow I went to the restroom I came back, okay, it's been 20 minutes, you know, and it's already at 52%. Actually, is it that fast? Okay, it's not that fast. If we compare it to E28, which can take 95 kilowatt and then 75 kilowatt, this is just, yeah, it's, you know, the, the Honda, no, not the Honda, the Mini would have been awesome if it came out in 2017 with this battery, but Coming out in 2020, it's a little bit late, you know, it's late to the party. But okay, now it's all about this thing here. Okay, let me show you here. I went from, I went for Mexican food. This is, uh, what's it called again? Tortillas. Yes. Oh, <laughs> smells great. Oh, yeah, they have Mexican food here at Circle K Dal. So you have to ask yourself, are you Mexican? or a Mexican. <laughs> yeah, and you see here, they start using these. Everything is sustainable, right? So we have wooden uh, fork and knife. Good stuff. Yeah, now I'm gonna enjoy it. Okay, we charge to 97%. Let's reset the trip meters and then off we go. We are on the move now on the high speed test. Oh yeah, the 120, the 120 kilometers per hour high speed test. <laughs> oh the, oh shit, the ride is pretty hard on this car. So every time we go over these bridge uh, connectors, the, it, it can be hard, like, like this one. Oh, oh shit. But anyway, look at the consumption. I guessed 190 consumption. We are hovering around 194 now. Wow. It could be that this is as efficient as Kona. Ha! Finally, we can match something that can, I mean, we find something that matches Kona. 
But we have to see in the end because I have a little bit of tailwind and we have also a little bit of downhill. But I have kinetic energy in the car that we haven't released when we regen back to zero. So we shall see then. We are back at Ayuntidol now. And the car, this one, Mini, had a consumption of 177 watt hour per kilometer. That is remarkably low, man. If you've seen my videos, you will know that 177 watt hour per kilometer when going 120 kilometers per hour is really good. We are talking about better efficiency than Kona. This is right in the same league as Ionic and Model 3. I have no idea why this car is so efficient. It, it, you know, it looks like they have taped or they put a nose cone in the front. So there is better aerodynamics in the front. And then in the back, I don't know, but maybe just, maybe um, Mini, they just by accident made a very efficient car. Uh, a very efficient compliance car, yeah. But I suspect that the drivetrain in the, in the, from the i3 was already efficient based on what I've seen in the past. But then nobody unleashed the power of this drivetrain until they put it in the Mini chassis. Uh, because then I suspect that the, the, the i3 chassis wasn't that aerodynamic versus the Mini. Because the Mini is, you know, the car is low and it's small. Yeah, so you have, okay, not the best CD value, not the best drag coefficient, but the A. That's what people are missing here. CDA. The drag coefficient times the frontal area, and this one has tiny frontal area. Yeah. But okay, more numbers. So, we drove on this test 146.6 kilometers, and that means uh, this car, and we, oh yeah, we came with 7%. We started with 97, so we spent exactly 90% on this test, and that means that this car has 163 kilometers of range, high speed range. That is very good, yes. Um, but, when it comes to losses, okay, um, this time I calculated 28.8 .8 kilowatt hours. That means 5% loss versus the 30.3 that we had in the slow test. And this actually corresponds with, um, what is it again? Honda E. So it has the same high loss as Honda. Now when I tested, um, what is it again? Oh, all these cars, man. E-tron, I had very little loss, but e-tron has bigger battery naturally you have lower power output for the same whatever there so that explains it but okay really good result man so i think that's gonna be it for this high speed low speed test range test yeah very impressive this this thing here the mini okay it lacks in some of the user friendliness but when it comes to efficiency the mini is really good yeah so anyway that's gonna be it for now I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.